Hey guys, Peter from cyclishub.com here. In this video, I'm gonna be talking about the highly anticipated Brighton Guardia R300 radar. As you can see, I've been already using it for some time, so I will share my experience with you. But before I do that, let me tell you a backstory. Garmin radars became a hit, they were selling like a hotcakes, but they had no competitor for a long time. This changed at Eurobike 2022, where Magin and Brighton announced their radars. And while Magin was able to release their radar, Brighton postponed their launch to 2023. And maybe we also know why. It's probably because they were too ambitious, because they promised us 20 plus hours battery life, while, for example, uh, Varia has around 15 hours. So they probably were not completely ready to release the product. I was able to buy it from an Italian online store and uh, I was kind of surprised what I received uh, because on the side, I'm not sure if you will see it, it says it's a demo unit. So what's the reality? Well, it's not so great. This is because the claimed battery life changed from the specifications released at Eurobike uh, to the specifications you can read now. We've seen changes mainly in the battery life department and we didn't get the 20 plus hours uh, battery life. And as you will see later in this video, the real battery life is kind of disappointing. Anyway, let's finally jump into the review. I've been already using Garmin Varia RTL 515 and also the Magin L 508. Honestly, Guardia works just as fine as uh, Varia or Magin. It uh, gives me some false positive, which means it shows me a car uh, which is not there, but uh, it's fine. I only get it a few times for uh, one ride. Uh, it gives more uh, false positive than Varia, but less than uh, Magin. Magin is pretty bad in this. But I didn't get any false negatives. One of the things I like about Guardia is the mobile app. As you can see on the screen, it's beautifully designed, easy to use and functional. If you don't have a bike computer, you can use your smartphone and it will show you the incoming cars uh, on the screen. This is the same feature as uh, Garmin Varia. But uh, for example, Magin doesn't have this functionality. The app also explains the light modes, which is pretty helpful if you don't know what they mean. From my experience, Guardia seems as bright as Varia, but for example, Magin is uh, a little bit dimmer. Uh, the light is not as bright. During my testing, I mounted Garmin Varia on my helmet and uh, bright, bright and Guardia on the seat post to avoid the uh, signals interference. They both worked well and uh, I was curious to see the battery life. Brighton Guardia should uh, last about 17 hours on the day flash mode, but the reality was that it lasted just about 11 and a half hours, which was pretty disappointing. Uh, this uh, Garmin Varia is about two years old and it lasted about nine and a half hours. So yes, Brighton is better in terms of battery life, but not as much better than the Varia. People also ask me how well this radar works with uh, by computers like Garmin Edge, Waho Element, uh, Karu, etc. Uh, luckily, I have all these by computers so I could test it. And uh, yeah, the, the radar works uh, just as great as uh, any other radar. Uh, for example, you can control the light modes from the Garmin Edge units as well as from uh, Car Hammerhead Karoo 2. Uh, Wahoo by computers do don't have uh, this uh, functionality, so it's kind of disappointing, but uh, they don't even uh, control Varia radars. The only limitation is that you won't see all the light modes uh, that uh, Brighton offers. So it's better when you use the, the power, power button. The last main feature I want to highlight is the mount. It's very sturdy. I rode through some cobblestone sections and it didn't move a bit. This is where it crushes the warrior mount. So what's the conclusion? Is it worth it? Well, absolutely. Riding without the radar is like riding without a helmet. Once you get used to it, 
it just doesn't feel right to ride without it. And considering the lower price than the Varia, while having a better specifications, I think it will become the biggest competitor to Varia radars, especially the RTL 515. Yes, it was kind of disappointing to see the short battery life compared to the claimed battery life, but uh, yeah, maybe the future firmware updates will improve this aspect. Having some competition on the market is also great for us consumers, because we will probably see lower prices of the future radars and maybe or uh, most likely even better specifications. So I'm looking forward to see the development in this uh, market. Anyway, this was all from me. I thank you for watching. I hope you find this review useful and helpful. Uh, if you do so, please subscribe to my channel and see you soon in one of the next videos. Ciao!